In this video, we're going to write a C++ program to delete a specific line in a file. So here I have a file with five lines of text in it. I want the program to prompt the user for the file name and the line number to delete. And if the user enters in file.txt for the file name and three for the line number, then this line here should be deleted from the file. So let's solve this with a C++ program now. The way we're going to solve this problem is that we're going to read the file one line at a time. We're going to store the string for each line into a vector of strings. Then we're going to write all those strings in the vector back to the file, except for the one line that we want to delete. That will give us the file with that line removed. So to solve this problem, we're going to include a few libraries to help us. We'll include the fstream library that will allow us to access files. We'll include the string library because we're going to work with strings. And we'll include vector because we're going to create a vector as part of our solution. Next, we'll create variables to store the file name and the line number. And we'll prompt the user for those values. So we'll have string file name to store the file name. And we'll have int line number to store the line number. We'll prompt the user for the file name with cout file colon. And we'll use the get line function with cin and file name as arguments. And get line is going to read a line from standard input. And it's going to store the string into the file name string. Then we'll use cout to prompt the user to enter the line number. So we'll have cout line colon. Then we'll use cin to store the number the user enters into the line number variable. Next, we'll create the fstream object to actually read the file contents. So we'll have fstream read underscore file. Then we'll open the file with the given file name. So we'll have read underscore file dot open the file with the file name that the user provided. Now it's possible this could fail. Maybe the file doesn't exist. So we'll check for that with the fail method. We'll have if read underscore file dot fail is true. So if the fail method returns true, that means the file failed to open. And in that case, we're going to exit with an error message and status. So we'll have C out error opening file followed by an end line. Then we're going to return one. We're going to return one instead of returning zero because returning one is going to be an exit status that signifies failure to the shell. Next, we can actually read each line from the file and store it into a vector. So we'll create a vector called lines. And this will be a vector that stores strings. We'll also create a string variable called line to store each individual line as we read each line in from the file. And next we'll create a while loop to do that. I'll have while get line with read underscore file and line as the arguments. So this while loop is going to execute again and again, reading each line from the file and storing it into the line string variable. Now the while loop will eventually stop. The last line of the file will be the last iteration of the loop. In the loop body, we're going to take the line that we just read in and we're going to push it onto the back of the vector. So we're going to have lines dot push back line. So take that next string and push it to the back of the vector. So the vector will hold the lines in order. The first element of the vector will be line one. The second element of the vector will be line two and so on. Now that we're done reading the file, we can close it. So we'll have read underscore file dot close. Now one possibility we should account for is that the user wants to delete a line number that's not actually in the file. So this file only has five lines in it. If the user wants to delete line six, that doesn't make any sense. So we'll check for that and we'll exit with an error message and status if that's the case. So the vector contains an element for each line. So the size of the vector will tell us how many lines are in the file. So if the line number is greater than the number of lines in the vector, that means the line is not in the file. And in that case, we'll output that. We'll have line space, the line number, and then not in file, followed by an inline. We'll also output how many lines are actually in the file. So we'll have C out, file has, and we'll output the number of lines in the file as given by the vector size, 
followed by lines, and then an end line. And again, we're going to return one as an error exit status. Next, we'll write all of the lines that are stored in the vector back to the file, except for that one line that we want to delete. So we'll create an OF stream object called write underscore file to help us write to the file. We'll again have to open the file. So we'll have write underscore file dot open, and we'll open the file with the given file name again. And this could fail, so we'll check for that with the fail method. So if write underscore file dot fail is true, we'll again exit with an error status and message. So we'll have C out error opening file, followed by an end line. And again, we'll return one as an error exit status. Now, because we've opened the file for writing with this OF stream object here, the file is going to be made blank and whatever lines we then write to the file will become the new content of the file. Now in the vector at index zero, we have line one. At index one, we have line two. At index two, we have line three and so on. So we're gonna loop through the vector elements and write each line back to the file, except for the line number associated with the vector element that we want to remove. So we're actually gonna decrement line number by one, because if the user wants to delete, let's say line number three, that's going to be stored at the vector element index two. So by decrementing line number by one, we can check to see if line number is equal to a loop counter variable that's going to go through each vector element index. So we'll have four int i is equal to zero, i is less than lines.size, i plus plus. And i is our counter variable that's going to go from zero all the way to the number of elements in the vector as given by the size method. And we'll check to see if i doesn't equal the line number that we want to delete. If that's the case, we can write that line to the vector. We'll have write file, we'll write the line at that index in the vector to the file, followed by an end line. So when this loop executes, for that one line where i is equal to the line number, we're not going to write that line to the file that will effectively delete it from the file. Now we can close the file since we're done writing the lines back to the file. So we'll have write underscore file dot close. And I'll just fix one typo. This here should be lines dot size to give us the size of the vector. Line was the string variable name. So we can save this and compile and run our program. And I'll enter in file.txt and then let's say line three. So we'll have file.txt and line three. And if I check out the file afterwards, we see that line three has been deleted. We could try it again. And this time we'll test the case that the line number is not in the file. So again, we'll run it. I'll enter in file.txt and let's say line number six. And we get line six not in file. File has four lines. So our program is working correctly. So this is how we can delete a specific line from a file using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.